Hello everyone, uh, Scott here from Classic Elite, and I'm going to do a little bit of a live playthrough here of the Atari Flashback 4. And what this is, is it's an Atari system uh, that allows you to play 75 different Atari games that are built into the system. Uh, Tony went and did a review, or an unboxing I guess, of what the system looks like and some of the capabilities. So I'm going to look at some of the games and, and how they play. The first thing that I do need to mention is that I had a lot of trouble with my Sega Genesis controller. Uh, actually, two different Sega Genesis controllers. When plugged into the first port, they would navigate the menu just fine, but unfortunately, they would not allow for any left or right movement in games, which is a bit of a bummer. So I'm using the wireless controller right now, which actually works pretty well. So uh, let's take a look at Centipede first. Uh, this is a game that... Uh, that I like quite a bit. I'm not very good at it. As you can see, it plays pretty well. Looks good, sounds good. Now, one of the cool things is when you are bored uh, with a game or you want to go back to the main menu, there's a, a reset button on the controller, which is really nice. So essentially all of the functions that you get on the face of a normal Atari system, um, I shouldn't say all of them, but there's a few functions on the actual gamepad, which is nice. It makes navigation really nice and easy. Um, let's take a look at some other games that we have here. One that I had never played before that was pretty fun. Uh, just from this console is actually Fatal Run here. Reminds me a lot of uh, Rad Racer for the NES. Now, to be fair, I didn't grow up playing the uh, the Atari. I've never had one. This is the closest to an Atari console I've ever had. Uh, one of the drawbacks with the system is that there is not a cartridge slot. It would be really cool if there were some uh, some functionality there to play uh, any Atari games. I might actually pick a few up, but you know, I suppose that 75 is a pretty good number. Alright, so I, I think this is probably just a high score game. Um, although it controls really, really well. Uh, let's take a look at another one. Okay. Uh, Pong, I have trouble with. I think I just don't understand uh, how to get it going in a good manner. I, I keep selecting a lot of different uh, like styles or different types of gameplay. Uh, now, one that's uh, a little funny for me is actually Breakout. It uh, maybe it's, maybe it's always been like this, but for me, it seems like the, con the controls are really jumpy. Maybe uh, again, may maybe it's just because it's just not that good of a port. So I don't know if this this particular game is just a bad game and this isn't a very accurate port, or if it's just a bad version on um, on the Atari Flashback Four. Uh, but for me, um, don't really care for, for Breakout too much. Uh, Centipede's been the game that I think has impressed me the most. Uh, we can also take a look here at Space Invaders. This one actually works really well, too. No. For not having an Atari system, like I said a little bit ago, uh, it... It certainly does the job, uh, but I don't see myself putting too much time into these types of games since I don't have a lot of nostalgia for them. Uh, my first system was an NES, so essentially my experience with these uh, games were definitely playing them over at a friend's house. Okay. So now I'm going to plug in a Sega Genesis controller and show you what I mean by the navigation a little bit. Okay. Now I'm using my controller, moving left and right, no problem. Uh, but as soon as I get into Centipede, I can no longer move left and right. I can move up and down, I can fire, but I can't go left or right. 
Um, I also noticed that I can't just jump out of the screen, so... Uh, it, it seems like they really want you to have the Atari feel. They really seem to want you to use the Atari controller. Uh, I don't know why they have the port there. Maybe I just have a bad unit and the controller ports for the Genesis uh, will work uh, for lots of different people, but for me, unfortunately, I couldn't get it to work. I'm sure an original Atari would plug into this fine, or original Atari, Atari controller would work just fine, but I, again, uh, I don't have one, and it's a bit of a bummer that the Genesis controller isn't working r real well for me. Uh, you know what, maybe, maybe we'll take a look at Pong. Okay, let's... Let's go here. There we go. Yeah, see, I, I don't... I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. So I don't I don't really care for Pong on this one very much. But, uh, you know, f for the most part, it's a pretty fun little game. Um, or f fun little system to have. Uh, if some of the drawbacks that I have mentioned uh, are going to be a turnoff for you, then I would definitely hold off. But if you're like me and you want some access just to an Atari feel, uh, this is definitely something that you could check out. So for more on Classic Elite, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, check us out at g2po.com. Uh, follow us on Twitter and Facebook, or like us on Facebook. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. We will see you guys soon.